We all know these people. The people that are telling you that running transforms your life and changes you as a person. And yes, it changes me as a person. I am more sweaty, exhausted, and feeling as if my lungs are about to give up on me. But that is not what these people are talking about, right? Because the great experiences they are talking about is not how I feel. And believe me, I have tried many times. And maybe you are feeling the same, that as if running is not for you and that you are not talented and that this is something that is for other people. And I mean, let's be honest, in the time we are running, we could rather be reading a good book, meeting up with friends, going for a walk outside, or even do other exercise like weightlifting, but not this time. This time, we give running the try that it deserves. So after all these years of wondering why some people are just enjoying it so much and are not knocked out, but refreshed when they come back from long distance runs, I am curious enough to dig deeper into it and to understand what running is all about. I'm talking about running as if I needed to, defend it in any way, but so far it has not done anything for me. Weird. To form a healthy relationship with a challenge I set myself up to, I do not only like to apply proven concepts, but also to understand the reasons behind it so that it all makes sense in the overall challenge. So in this video, I would like to provide you with the whys that make you realize that you should start running right now in 2024 even if it feels like you suck at this. And also, even if your identity is built upon this whole thing of being the gym bro and purposefully skipping on your cardio. Mm -mm. And I hope that these whys inspire you to double think if you want to neglect the chance of getting into the running thing this time around. I just would like to let you know in the beginning that all the papers that I used to research the whys that I'm presenting you here today are linked in the description box below. So if you would like to dig deeper into it, you can have a read through them. It's just not possible for me to actually get into each and every detail of this because this is out of the scope of this video. It would be too long. And without further ado, let's start with the first why. The physical health why. Yes, I know, obvious. But stay tuned, we are talking about more than just physical health in this video. So within the very obvious physical health why, I start with the most obvious fact, your cardiovascular health. Running enhances your cardiovascular health by improving your heart function and increasing the efficiency of blood circulation in your body. So essentially, with running, you can enhance something that you do every day, hour, minute, and second for the rest of your life. Studies have shown that regular running decreases the risk of getting cardiovascular diseases such as coronary artery disease, hypertension, and stroke. And now let's think. We all know someone in our family, our friend's family, or of our colleagues that has had some contact with these diseases. So they are very common in our everyday society and something we have to worry about. So essentially, running is not only doing something for you in your near future, but also for your future self in the long run. You know, run. Yeah. And now let's come to the last part of the physical health Y section, your musculoskeletal system. Running strengthens your muscles and bones and enhancing your overall musculoskeletal health. And I know, I can hear you. The gym bros I addressed earlier are now coming for me and saying, weightlifting is so much better or building up strength and muscles. And yes, in some parts, that might be true, but running affects parts of your body that classical strength training does not in that way. We are talking about your stabilizers, your tendons, your fast twitch muscle fibers, and the list goes on and on. So essentially what your body does when you run is that with every step you put through your run, your body is reminded to be better prepared the next time. Because when your foot touches the ground, there is force through your body, causing your body to actually build up on the bones, helping your tendons to get stronger, because actually tendons can only be nurtured by diffusion, and for that we need movement. And because our bodies are such beautifully smart systems, they actually do something about it. It's not like you setting yourself up for a task because you don't wanna be as stressed as this time, the next time you do it. So you actually think that you are going to do the task way earlier, but then you start procrastinating from it for days, months, years, and yeah, no. 
your body is different in that way and more disciplined. Your body starts to strengthen the parts that are affected by your actions and therefore improves your whole bones and muscle system. And because of the fact that it promotes bone density, you can also prevent conditions like osteoporosis in your long-term future. So once again, your long-term future self will thank you. But that's not everything. After these very obvious physical health whys, we go on to the next category, which is the mental health why. Numerous studies have shown that regular aerobic exercise, including running, improves your overall mental health and with that reduces symptoms of depression and anxiety. And this is because exercise promotes the release of endorphins and other neurotransmitters into your system, which can reduce the feeling of anxiety and stress and with that improve your mood. And with that stimulation in the release of neurotransmitters, your body's actually regularly training and exercising the hormonal stimulation and the process connected to neurotransmitters. Therefore, running enhances cognitive function and may even reduce the risk of neurodegenerative diseases like Alzheimer's. Apart from that, running can help you with a lot of other things. It can help you with relaxation, can help you with your sleeping schedule because you find a way of stress release and it can obviously provide a distraction from daily worries. It also does not only give you all the good neurotransmitters like endorphins, we want that, it also helps you regulate your cortisol levels. And on top of that, on top of all the exercise focused mental health benefits, there is another part for you, a little add-on if you are planning to run outdoors. And no, it's not that you get all the fresh air and a nice breeze and that you have sun exposed and all the vitamin D. And yes, that also helps you, but that is even a little bit too obvious for me to include. Now, I'm talking about a phenomenon that has come to awareness in research the past few years and has now a boom of different studies and experiments that show the benefit of exposing yourself to greenery. And no, you don't need to face up the plant or while running, look at the trees and then cause a whole nother chain of problems because you fall over and then you break your leg and then you're not able to run for the next couple of weeks. No, 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 no. Your peripheral view is enough. So you don't actually have to face this and focus but it is enough if it is somewhere where you can actually perceive it. And apart from all the very, very science related phenomena, there is something else that your mental health can massively benefit from. Because while you're running, you realistically get a break from the socials. And I don't have to explain how that can actually benefit your mental health and stress levels and bad feelings about yourself and comparing yourself to all the other people out there. So body and mind, check. And now we come to the last category of whys, which I could not quite coin it something because it's not as tangible and not as strictly categorized as the other ones. So I call it the other why. <laughs> this is the section where it gets a little bit less scientific. As much as I love science, I want my videos to do a full wrap up and to include many different perspectives on one topic. So it's sometimes necessary to not have your head in the science clouds for all the sections. Because maybe you will find that running after all isn't that bad when taking the right approach or taking a different distance or doing something else, spicing it up. And maybe you will find out that this is something that can actually help you in your life. So maybe your why is to reconnect with your love of being outdoors and seeing the world or exploring the world just in a different way of movement pattern. It is also the why of getting to know yourself better. And I don't mean your body and your body's capacity, which is obviously part of it, but also characteristic traits of you. How are you reacting in this new situation and how are you reacting to setting yourself up for a challenge? How happy are you when you see the progress and how good can you go through when it's not as fun and what can you change about it? But also, maybe you will find out that in other situations of everyday life, you are less stressed and less overwhelmed by the situations because you have a form of stress release. And maybe you will see that you have also clearer thoughts and you can get rid of all the fog in your brain. Or maybe this is the one time where you can shut up all the voices in your head and be happy and just enjoy this as a relaxation or even kind of a meditative situation while you run. 
Also in this category, there is the social why. Because maybe you will find out that running is the new activity that you can do with your friends, with your partner, with your family, or you can even meet new people and socialize in a new group of exercising together. And last but not least, I have the everyday life why. And this goes hand in hand with all that is already said in this video, but because of the fact that this is the strongest and most important why for me personally, I wanted to include this another time with a little bit different of a perspective on it. Because running, by improving your mental and your physical health, will help you in your every life situations. Chasing after your dog or your child when playing with them. Or maybe exploring a new city when being on holidays and realizing that you are not out of breath and you can actually explore the whole city on your feet without being too tired. Or maybe, for the shopaholics out there, going for a shopping trip but not being exhausted after one store already, I guess. And the list can go on and on. What I want to say is that running can benefit you in your everyday life in many different little situations on a daily basis and that essentially why you should start running right now. So please, take the opportunity as soon as possible in 2024 to wear that active wear and the athletic shoes that are sitting in your wardrobe for way too long waiting to be used and give running a try to allow your future self in the near and the long term to enjoy a happy and healthy life as well as to ease your present self from some stress, from the socials, from daily worries and improve your sleep by reducing the overstimulation and give your body a possibility of stress release. So go ahead and enjoy the process. Think about the why that is most important for you and I would be really interested in which why is most important for you so you can comment that down below and with the motivation and the why in the back of your head where you know that this is benefiting you you can start your running journey in a whole different way because it's always important to know why you are doing something. Stay curious and I'll see you in the next one where we talk about the science behind the actual process of running and how we can alter our training approach to make it more fun for us on an individual basis. And with that being said, please give this video a like if it inspired you or helped you in any way and subscribe to the channel if you are curious to see more of this. Bye.